Welcome back to Tech Nuggets. In this video, I will show you how to set up Apache Kafka and its basic clients. First of all, what is Apache Kafka? Apache Kafka is an open source distributed event streaming platform used by thousands of companies for high performance data pipelines, streaming analytics, data integrations and mission critical applications. By the way, if you are new to this channel or not a subscriber yet, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button now and follow me on Twitter. Let's dive into today's video. Okay, let us see some of the core capabilities and features of Kafka. Let us go to its official website, kafka.apache.org. Okay, so more than 80% of Fortune 100 companies trust Kafka and use it. The industry like uh, manufacturing, banks, insurance, and telecom. Okay. So what are the core capabilities? It's a high throughput platform. For example, it can um, it can process trillions of messages per day with the low latency as low as two milliseconds, and it can scalable. It can scale production clusters up to your thousands of brokers, trillions of messages per day, petabytes of data. And uh, it allows a permanent storage that store you streams of data safely in a distributed, durable, fault tolerant cluster. And it is high availability. Uh, for high availability, it can stretch clusters efficiently over availability zones or connect separate clusters across geographic regions okay what are the ecosystem so it's got a built-in stream processing functions to join aggregate filter transform the event and it can connect to any data source even streaming process data source such as jms elastic search postgres aws s3 and it contains a lot of client libraries in various languages and large ecosystem and open source tools okay let's go ahead and download this tool and let's explore it okay click on download kafka once you click that there are multiple versions displayed here let's take the latest version that is uh, Scala 2.13 again this is one thing you have to um, keep that in mind that this is uh, Java based you should have a uh, latest JDK either 11 or Java 17 so my case I have Java 17 let's go ahead and download this Scala that is um, Kafka 2.1.3 okay it's about uh, 100 MB file it will take couple of uh, seconds or a minute okay let's see once it downloads okay it is downloaded and I moved that file under Java programs okay let's go ahead and unzip this also please bear in mind use 7-zip that's an open source archive file and uh, you will find there is another tar file in this site so you have to go ahead and you have to double an archive this extract to this and you will find your the extraction of the whole binary you will find it here so important thing what you have to see here is one is a config libs and by uh, bin that's a uh, executables one is a linux version dot sh file and uh, we have to see what is in windows okay so let's go ahead and uh, execute one of one by one one of these comments um uh, the important thing you see libs all of them are jar file okay okay let's see okay um let us go ahead and start the kafka server so as I mentioned earlier, um, Kafka is a distributed event system. So it works on uh, distributed um, coordinators such as Zookeeper. First thing what we have to do is you have to start the Zookeeper. 
so what we'll do let's uh, open with command prompt so you have to make sure this file under bin windows okay let's execute first start the zookeeper when when you are starting this make sure you have the default properties that is uh, under config you need to pass the zookeeper dot properties let's start this okay it is started so zookeeper is a coordinator and uh, what it will do it will coordinate between a broker and the topic all that right so the broker is the zookeeper i mean the kafka server okay so now let's next thing is we have to start kafka server so we need another command prompt let's go ahead and create one more then this time let's start the kafka server okay that is again you have to pass this uh, server dot properties okay so both are started um ready to test there are other things we have to do let's see that you will you will find the the Kafka server started with the port that is it's ready to use okay the servers are ready now let's start using the client so before that or the Kafka um, how does this events are collected is in, in the names of topics in, the, in terms of topics like a queue you need to create a topic then you can you need to have a message or event producer then message or even consumer so let's create a go ahead and create a topic I'll go open another command uh, bear with me there will be a lot of uh, command terminals at least three to four terminals required okay so in order to start this um, topic you need to have another command so all of this uh, uh, executables under same bin windows you will find this so we'll go ahead and create a topic called uh, yt events say youtube events then bootstrap server localhost 1992 okay let's go ahead and create this you should see there is a topic create message okay so while uh, it's created now what we'll do um as i mentioned there is a multiple clients various clients it's supported so in this testing we'll go ahead and create a we'll use a console client and check this okay one is let's go ahead and create now since the topic is created we need a producer okay so uh, starting the producer command is again console producer topic yt events and the host bootstrap server go ahead and start and the producer will be ready in couple of seconds it's ready now oh. we'll go ahead and create um consumer we'll show consumer so let's open consumers to see the message side by side um again console consumer and which event you have to have okay uh, let us pass the basic message say event one event two event three event three so by the way this is my uh, producer this is my consumer as you type you will see the messages appearing here awesome okay so we have done the basic perfect by the way if you are enjoying the content of this video so far please subscribe like it and share it okay 
now we have seen that in the console now let us see how do we see this in the programmatic way for example uh, how do i how do i pass or how do i create um message or event pro through programmatically and consume programmatically for that i am going to use python so first thing what you need is uh, you need to install python a uh, python based uh, library that is what you have to do is you need to python m um, uh, pip install kafka python so i already installed it i don't need to do that so let me explain the basic structure i'm going to create one producer and consumer in python uh, for that i have created a test data say event 1 event 2 event 3 like that then i have a consumer i have producer so in the producer what i am doing is i'm i'm connecting to the event topic and the local host 9092 this is my file i reading as a binary and this is my event topic and i'm passing line by line okay let's go ahead and do that message producer bye okay so what will happen is there is a one uh, one seconds of delay i am giving uh, by uh, every one message okay meanwhile i'll open another console let's go ahead and read python kafka rc consumer dot py so you should be able to see the message as it's appearing so you can see that it's as in as as it arrives you are able to consume so what you have done we have uh, producing a message from other client and you are consuming from the client okay great we have installed started and produced and consumed the events or messages simple client as well as programmatically using python client that's it for this video thank you for your time we'll see you in the next video